This is a repair of an LG 55LB6300 and the problem is the light is flashing or there's a black screen. The first thing that you want to do is remove the back case by removing all the screws and putting them in an organizer. I'm using ice cube tray. Look for any cables as you remove this back panel. This is your main power board, your main board, and your TCOM board. I'll be looking at the power board first to see if the LED lights are bad. Remove the connector to the LED strips. Using an LED tester, we can test to verify if this is the issue. Right here I'm testing and I can see light, but I'm testing the other strip and the voltage is not changing and there's no light. Therefore, it's a bad back light. Remove the bottom panel by removing the screens and taking off the connector. Remove the speakers by removing the connector and the speakers themselves. Remove the ribbon cable by lifting up the small black tab and pulling it away, taping on the cable. Remove the metal plates at the bottom of the screen. There's a little tab that you can that you need to pull out as you're lifting them up. Now we need to remove the ribbon cables at the bottom and we'll be putting them over on on the screen. There's little rubbers that you're going to loosen. Now we'll flip over the TV so that we can remove the screen. Remove the metal bracket that's going around that's holding the screen down. Take some electrical tape and tape the ribbons onto the screen. Careful not to bend the ribbon cables too much as they're very, very delicate. Now using suction cups, remove the screen panel off and remove the plastic frame around the screen. There's little clips that you just clip off. Tape each corner of the plastic sheets so that you know what layer they are in. And then remove the white sheets. Now we will remove the plastic holders that are holding the bottom plastic white sheet on by just clipping them and push sliding them out. Remove the white sheet off and now we have access to all the LEDs. Using my LED tester, I'm just testing to find what LEDs are working and which ones are not. If you find one that doesn't work, remove the light filter. I'm removing the small plastic sticker and I'm using a little pliers to remove that LED. This doesn't require a heat gun, it's the easiest way with the tools that you may have. Using a razor blade, I'm just cleaning up the contacts, the surface there for the new LED. You can see the small line between positive and negative. Here's my new replacement LED. You can see the small pad goes on the small location and then the big pad goes on the big pad. I'm using some electrical tape so that it doesn't short between that small uh, line between positive and negative using some flux, putting a small bead of solder on one side of the pad, on the positive side, and we'll do the negative side as well. Take a replacement LED and put it on the solder. Heating up the solder, I'm connecting one side of the LED. Do the same to the other side. Make sure the contact is good. I'm using very thin solder and double check that LED, that LED is working, which it is. So that LED is working. Now replace the light diffuser. I'm using some shoe glue or you can use some silicon or su super glue. Anything will be okay. 
I like to use Shugu because you can adjust the filter when you put it on. Make sure the light's diffusing right. And now reassemble the TV by doing the reverse order, putting the plastics on, the little plastic connectors. Double check that all the lights are working before putting the screen panel on. This will save you lots of time if there's any mistake. Putting the white filter papers back on. Removing the, the tape that we put on each layer. Putting the plastic frame on to hold the screen down and clipping in, making sure everything's level. I'm using blow off any particles that may have fallen on the TV. On, so put the TV screen back on. Be very careful. And then carefully fold back the ribbon cables down. Reattach the metal casing around the screen and using your screwdriver to screw everything on. I wouldn't use any power tools for this step, just use a normal screwdriver. Flip the TV over, reattach your cable to the LCD panel by pushing down that black connector. Put the bottom metal panels on. Reattach your speakers and the power button. Connect everything up and make sure that everything's screwed down. Reassemble the back case. And there we go, you can see, life's good, everything's working. If, you, if this video has been helpful, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up.